So we have to go on to our third team. The third team is led by Dr. Gagandeep Brad, a leading pediatric ophthalmic surgeon from Chandigarh, who is going to dwell on my propensity for IOL implants by six months of age is very high in pediatric cataract. He is going to be challenged against the motion by Dr. Sujata Guha, an extremely prolific teacher and surgeon, the medical director of Shankar Netralia, Kolkata. So on to you, Dr. Brad. I think you have to stop screen sharing, Dr. Amit. He is not sharing, I think. No, he stopped already. Gagandhi, Dr. Bar, Gagandhi, you have to share your screen. Can you see the screen now? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, thank you, uh, Dr. Chitra, and I thank the ARC for having me here today. And I'll be discussing why primary implants are my first choice in pediatric cataract by the age of six months. Now, the challenge in pediatric cataract is basically successful visual rehabilitation in a child. And along the way, we have to have minimum interventions, risks, and costs. Now, we know that the, uh, there are practically three phases of growth in the postnatal period. And by six months of age, more than 50% of the postnatal growth has already taken place. I'll not really discuss uh, this mode of uh, AFA uh, correction, the, the spectacles, because we all know with the high powers, the quality of uh, you know, image provided by these and the problems are really a lot. So basically, it is between contact lenses and primary IOLs. And contact lenses can overcome some of the problems with glasses. But there is the need of regular cleaning, replacement, so there are logistics and costs. And in our country, all for the risk of infections with poor lens care and hygiene. Now, primary IOL implantation is the standard of care for older children. It ensures in the bag implantation in the majority, potentially avoids the second intervention in some of them in the majority rather, and bypasses any appearance of uncorrected trachea. Now, uh, we do understand that it is technically more demanding and should be done by more experienced surgeons. There are residual refractive errors, and there is the risk of secondary opacification of the visual axis. Now, I'll take you to uh, main studies uh, which compared these two things. Uh, the IATS was uh, a, a randomized control trial uh, of 114 eyes uh, across 12 centers. The main thing to see here is that 72% uh, of children in the IATS were less than three months of age at the time that they underwent the surgery. And the recommendation of IATS was that less than seven months of age for unilateral cataract, they would rather recommend the eye to be left if they can and uh, you know, a contact lens for the visual rehab. Now, going into their data and seeing things a little more uh, in detail, uh, the main reason uh, why they recommended that was because uh, a lot of uh, patients, about 78% of patients in the IUL group needed a secondary intervention compared to about 21% in the contact lens group, as you see here. Uh, but looking at the adverse events, uh, almost 56% of patients uh, with contact lenses had some adverse uh, event compared to 81%. And mind you, we are not yet accounted for the, all the surgery which are going to happen when the secondary IOL is going to be implanted. Now, they also had uh, almost 18% of eyes with contact lens related problems. Fortunately, they got away without uh, too much of trouble, but this could have been uh, worse. And also the cost, look at uh, the number of contact lenses which have to be supplied in the first year, almost one per month, uh, free of cost to all the patients within the first year. Now, this has significant bearing in our country. Now, the other study is the IUL number two from the British Isles, and they had 221 children, about 50% with IULs. And they found better vision, at least in the bilateral cataracts, uh, with primary IUL implantation. Almost three times uh, better vision, uh, better um, three times more children having equity within normal for age for bilaterals, and double for unilateral cataracts, 10% versus 20%. Uh, they did include some of the children who had excellence as low as 15 millimeter for primary implants. So some of that could skew the results towards the worst side. If the axial lens were more, the results would have been even better. And their interventions for visual access classifications were less than the IATS, obviously, because some of these children are older than uh, the IATS study. Uh, experience from our own country, Western Indian experience, uh, suggests that uh, children operated in their first year of life have a VAO of something like 20 minutes, which is less than the, what we saw in the IATS. And the North Indian experience also shows uh, that consistently 
the visual access of classification has been below 20% for most children who have been operated in the first year of life. And even on long-term follow-up, you see visual access of classification on eight years of follow-up seen in only two eyes uh, out of 26. And in a large series from PGI Chandigarh, consistently, once again, classification rates below 20% uh, for most children, even when they are operated in the first year of life. Now, this is also drawn by a comment from uh, uh, Wilson, uh, who was a leading investigator in the IATS as well, who says that I usually prefer a primary IUL with glasses uh, by the, in any child who is older than seven months of age. So the primary IUL, even for him, is the first choice by this age. So to summarize, primary IUL implantation is safe in most children uh, beyond any of affords in the bag IULs and avoids secondary intervention in majority. The logistics costs and risks associated with contact lenses preclude their use in a majority of children in our country. And more experience with some of these newer surgical options like optic capture, bag in the lens, et cetera, and the availability of adjustable IULs uh, will further increase the safety of primary implants. And I'll just uh, end by showing you a picture of the profile of some of the children and uh, the parents. There's just no way they can use contact lenses over a longer period of time. Thank you so much for your patience. Thank you, Dr. Brad. That was uh, wonderful.